Hey there, it's Jason Gorman from Codemanship with uh, another video diary update from Lockdown, complete with Lockdown Crew Cut. Um, I just wanted to share some thoughts about a Twitter poll that I ran yesterday on the Codemanship account, um, which asked people um, to look at their commit logs on Git and just get a rough idea of during a coding session how frequently they commit their changes. So we asked, do you commit maybe um, less than once an hour, so quite infrequently, or once or twice an hour, or more? Um, now, taking a look at the results, about two-thirds of us are relatively infrequent committers. Um, and there's no right or wrong answer to this. I'm just curious to find out how people work. Um, when I work, um, I tend to commit very frequently, so... For example, if I'm refactoring, I'll do a refactoring and then I'll commit that and then I'll do another refactoring, I'll commit that. Or if I pass a test when I'm doing TDD, I'll commit that and then I'll commit at the next test or after I've done some refactoring. Because um, I tend to view commits to my local sort of sandbox in Git as a kind of um, seat belt, really. It's a kind of ultimate undoability. If, if something goes wrong, I can very easily revert back to a, a state where the code was last working. So how frequently do you commit and how are you using Git or how or whatever version control system you're using? How are you using that in that kind of respect? Are you using it purely to be able to merge to the master branch so that you can share your changes with the rest of the team? Or are you committing to your own branch and pushing that? Um, or are you committing very, very frequently locally like I do? so that you have a lo sort of a local change history that you can navigate back very easily if something goes wrong. So be very interested in your thoughts in the, uh, in the comments below. Are you a frequent committer? Do you commit infrequently? Um, and what's sort of your reason for thinking, well, I should commit that now? Um, also, um, any thoughts on commit comments? What kind of things should you put in the comments? So because I tend to commit very frequently, there's usually sort of a, a change that I've made, like a, a refactoring or I've added another test. And so I'll often document that in the commit um, when I do it. Some people will do lots of commits, but then they'll squash them all down when they push to the master branch, when they push, push to the, the, the remote um, repository, um, so that they're not uh, sort of merging a whole bunch of commits with lots of different messages. I um, I quite like having that kind of change history because, um, uh, one, it's it's kind of um, good to go back over. If, you're, if your sort of um, change history, if your version history is relatively um, large chunks of changes, lots of changes, then when if you're interested in, in what some of us call sort of software archaeology, going back through the repository to... Um, to see how it's evolved and how it's changed and try and understand the decisions that have been made. Um, then a kind of a fine level of granularity for those commits, for those messages for each version can be quite useful. So lots of different styles, lots of different preferences, lots of different ways of working, different sort of Git flows. Um, what is your Git flow? I'm very interested to hear in the comments below. Also, um, if you're interested in these videos and, and, and want to, be notified about the next one, then ring the bell or subscribe to this channel. Um, lots more coming from COBOL and JavaScript and Java and C Sharp and Python and all sorts of wonderful stuff. So um, anyway, that's me for uh, another video diary update. Um, stay safe and I'll speak to you soon.